Hello! Since we've just received at Opabinia Films the new Samsung Gear 360 camera, which records 360 spherical images and videos, we wanted to do an unboxing video for you. Although it's more like a semi-unboxing video because we couldn't resist and we've already opened the box. As you can see, the camera has a latest technology design. It looks really cool. I could stand just looking at it for ages. It's amazing. Uh, it has a compact and practical size, similar to a pool ball, which makes it easy for everybody to use. It has a mini tripod, which is very useful um, to place it or to hold it. If you take it out, mind the lenses because they can easily get dirt. Um, so here's the camera. Then, what we can find inside the box is a micro USB cable. Um, this is uh, to connect to the computer and to charge the camera or to download the videos and images that we make. We can also find a camera cover to protect the camera and its lenses. We have uh, to take care of things so they can last forever. Then we can also find a string to attach it to the tripod. Um, there's a little instructions manual and a warranty card, of course. Uh, very important, a wipe to clean the lenses and to get clear shots. And lastly, there's a sticker, which is uh, the Gear 360 Action Director product key for the app for the computer. So this is everything that we can find in the box of the Samsung Gear 360. All right, back to the camera. The positive side of this camera is that mm, it's accessible to everybody so everyone can make their own 360 video but on the other side it's not yet comparable to to the quality of a gopro multi-camera rig the functioning of the camera is very simple and intuitive uh, we have here the um, the power button that we have to hold until the light turns on and we hear that R2D2 sound. Uh, this same button is the back button for the menu, which is just um, on the top here. This is the menu button. Um, when we click here in the little screen, we can see that we change the, the mode of the camera, video, photo, time lapse, video looping, settings, and that's it. On the top, next to the screen, we have the red button, which is um, the recording one. And here's the lead, where we can find the battery, the micro SD, and um, the plug for the micro USB. And very important, of course, the two lenses, one in the front side and the other one in the red side, which covers 180 degrees each. So, to create a 360 field of view. Uh, when recording, we can, we can use both lenses to make the 360 or just one of them to make a wide-angle image or photo. Uh, the lights will show us which, which um, lenses you're using. All right. The resolution in video mode and when using both lenses is 3840 1920 at 30 frames per second. The code of compression is H265 and generates an MP4. When using just one of the lenses, the resolution is 2560-1440. In photo mode, we get 30 megapixels when using both lenses and 5 megapixels when using just one. 
the camera doesn't allow us to work with uh, RAW mode, but just uh, JPG. The camera has an internal memory of 16 gigabytes, although we can add a micro SD, as we saw before here, for more capacity. The connectivity of the camera is via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB or NFC. And the battery has uh, 1350 milliamps of capacity, although uh, I can tell exactly because I haven't used it so much. Internally, it incorporates an accelerometer and a gyroscope to stabilize the image. And at last, the weight is of 153 grams. Now let's talk about the app. Once you get the, uh, the camera, you need to download the Samsung Gear app. This application for mobile phones will allow you to shoot and to see the preview image that you're going to shoot on your mobile phone. This has been copied from the Ricoh Theta philosophy as using your mobile phone as a remote control. But uh, what's new about this app is that you can directly, um, directly watch the, the 360 videos in the Gear VR glasses. We have done a video comparing the Gear 360 and the Ricoh Theta S in resolution and quality and we will upload it soon. Uh, thanks for listening and I hope that you've learned something today. See you. Bye.